crown for India's best performing real estate market when it comes to residential property has undoubtedly been bagged by the National Capital Region. Simply looking at the numbers on price appreciation witnessed over the last three years. So it's time now to do a thorough realty check on the capital's real estate. What's going for it? What's not? And does the future look as rosy as the past has been? At least for a large number of micro markets, we will discuss today. The list is fairly comprehensive, extensive from Noida to Greater Noida, Yamuna Expressway, Gurgaon to Dwarka and even Delhi with the recent changes in land pooling policy and a master plan waiting to unfold. So welcome everyone to today's Realty Debate on a topic which excites and interests everyone, not just who live in NCR or want to buy or sell here, but also across the country because we are, after all, discussing the capital city of the country. My guest today, Varun Khanna, Director IRIO, joining us from, of course, Delhi as well. Prashan Agarwal, co-founder of Prop Tiger. Prashan, thank you very much for joining in. Tarun Mehrotra, CEO of Puri Constructions. He's also on the board of advisory for Shipra. Nain Raheja, Executive Director, Raheja Builders. And Samir Jasuja, founder and CEO of Prop Equity. All right, before I go on to start questioning my guests here, let me just run you through some crop equity data, which is very interesting. We're looking at 2011 versus 2012. And here are what uh, some of the key figures show. Faridabad, weighted average price has gone up by 21.6%. New launches have gone up by 13.5%. So prices have run away more than new launches. Greater Noida, 23.5% new launches, a little bit more, actually robust. 20.6% is the weighted average price increase. So that's a market which hasn't done very well. We're talking about Greater Noida. It has been plagued by some controversies as well. Gurgaon, interesting market. New launches are just 2% over 2011. So 2012 actually pretty much saw very few new launches in Gurgaon. And price rise also has been 17%, not as much as some other markets have performed. New Delhi, well, Prices have gone up 16%, which is okay. And Noida prices have gone up 16.5%, but new launches have actually dipped in Noida. So overall, if you look at it, there isn't any key takeaway except the fact that new launches in Gurgaon have been very, very slow. NCR overall, new launches have declined, and that could probably be the reason why prices have gone up by as much as 18.5% if you take an average of all these micro markets. So I'm going to start with you, Tarun. Tell me, what went on? What worked for this market in the last one year, 11 to 12? Well, Manisha, various reasons. Largely being, NCR is the barometer of economic growth. So it's a clear indicator that economic opportunity in this country lies in this region. There are more and more people coming, companies are flourishing. These are not necessarily people from within or as you call pure investors when you sell off plan large a large number of investors are of course investors mm -hmm. but these are end user investors who cannot buy ready properties but they can buy under construction properties that's why you'll see or oh, many times there is a comparison between resale and off plan properties new properties new pro new properties are doing far better than resale of properties mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's because the new end user segment is coming in. So you have actually coined a very interesting new terminology today on the show, which is end user investor. So let me bring in Varun here because IDO has, of course, made its biggest bets in the NCR region. Varun, what's going on in this market? What, you know, it's it, a mouth-watering returns, 18.5% compared to any other asset class from 2010 to even the beginning of 2013. Real estate in NCR has definitely beaten every other asset class hollow. Forget about all other cities in the country hollow. So what, according to you, was the biggest reason? Simply because it's a hugely investor-driven market? Uh, look, I'll tend to endorse what Tarun shared as, uh, you know, the big reason why uh, NCR continues to be the big focus of uh, the market in India. And, uh, you know, particularly for us, and I can speak more from our experience, which is the micro market of Gurgaon, we have in the last couple of years, in fact, ever since our launch, the first launch we did was on the 19th of September 09, we have seen a continued demand traction. We've seen a growth in prices. Year on year, we've seen a tremendous amount of upside. Uh, and primarily because 
of the NCR micro markets that we have, the economic activity growth factor uh, continues to be highest in Gurgaon compared to other parts. Manisha? All right. Okay. So you're saying that it's job creation, employment creation. Are we actually, Sameer, then looking at, you know, we've discussed this, debated this before, uh, that Gurgaon is probably going to beat every other city when it comes to employment generation? Well, uh, I think I can't answer that question because I don't track employment data mm. as such. And I would think Bangalore mm. probably would overtake Gurgaon with respect to employment generation, especially in the IT sector, which seems to be driving real estate all throughout the country, especially in tier one cities. But the demand supply mismatch. Mm -hmm. So if you look at Gurgaon, it still supplies only about 25,000 units a year. Right. Whereas if you were to compare that to a Bangalore, it would probably throw out 50 to 75,000 units every year. So you're saying Gurgaon market, actually the supply is 25,000? It's not more than 25,000 every year every of year? new launches. Right? It just seems it's a lot more. And that too has increased significantly with the new master plan that came in about three, four years ago and a host of new launches that started to happen in the Dwarka side as well as the new sectors in Gurgaon. Mm -hmm. uh, having said that, also what has really helped Gurgaon is that the execution has been so slow that a lot of stuff has been launched, <laughs> but not very much has got completed. Huh. And that has led to serious end user demand uh, for ready properties. And then new properties continue to follow pricing of ready properties as well. The gap starts to always uh, comes to narrow down slowly, mm -hmm. slowly. So if a new property is at say 15,000 rupees a square feet in say a golf course road region, you can afford to buy a property or sell a property in golf course extension at 10, 11,000 rupees a square feet. Mm -hmm.